Welcome back to day one of the work-life balance challenge. Today we're gonna go deeper into the health wealth relationship model. Now, if you're on the platform, make sure to scroll down because I explained it in my first TEDx speech. There's no better way for me to explain it in five minutes and shorter than that TEDx speech because I prepped it for days and days to come. Now, on top of that, part of work-life balance is that you have some kind of accountability. So I've created a Facebook group where we have a ton of people on the same journey just like you. And I suggest that you would go in there. It's completely closed off, so make sure to answer the questions so that I know that you're from this challenge. And make sure to contribute, give some value, introduce yourself, Keep yourself accountable, but also give accountability to other people. And that is it for today. Now, on top of that, I know that some people need practical examples. So far on the YouTube channel, I've published some of my coaching clients and short testimonials. Now, on this challenge, I trust you guys a little bit more. So I'm publishing the full video testimonials because I remember from the time that I had mentors that it was much nicer if I had practical examples, not only from them, but also from their clients and how they use those those models into their lives, how they optimize their health, wealth and relationships. So you get the full video testimonials if you want to see how people apply it into their life. Now if it's a bit too long for you, you can also check out the short video testimonials and get an idea of the essentials of how they implemented it into their lives. Now on top of that, you'll also receive an Easter egg gift for today, which is the balance assessment sheet. It's always good to know if you're doing well or not. Now this is not a survey, but if you haven't filled in the survey, make sure to check that out too because it'll give you an idea of how you're doing right now. The balance assessment sheet goes deeper into that. It'll give you more of an idea of how you're doing in each area. I always suggest to print it out so that you can share it with a friend or a partner and then compare it six months from now to see how much improvement you've done. This balance assessment sheet is based on the education at Brandman University. To me it has worked because it gives me a quick overview of where somebody stands in their work-life balance so that I know what we need to focus on in the next couple of steps. Now, once that assessment sheet is filled in, I use the health wealth relationship model to define where each problem lies, health, wealth, or relationships. And then I know with my clients what I have to do exactly in the next couple of steps. Do we have to focus on health first before we can balance that out and move on to the next part? Do we have to focus on wealth or relationships? Because if everything is all over the board and the foundations are not laid, then we cannot do anything. Foundation is everything in this model. But I explain everything in the TEDx speech, so make sure to check that out. Make sure to sign up in the Facebook group. It's completely free. Make sure to fill out the survey in the balance assessment sheet. And if you want some practical examples, then check out the video testimonials from my elite coaching clients. But that is it for day one. I hope you enjoyed the content for today. Tomorrow we'll go into day two where I go deeper into my journey to the TEDx stage. You'll go together with me in a behind the scenes workshop that I haven't released yet. And you'll get to see how I built my TEDx speech and how I got there in the first place. And that is it. I will see you tomorrow for day two.